Thank you. The art form of making music with a carpenter's handsaw probably dates back 300 years to the time when steel saws became affordably available. It was discovered by lumberjacks in many different countries around the world without one knowing of the other. Therefore, there's no one country that can claim to be the origin of this art form. To begin with, it was a folk tradition. But if you fast forward 100 years, it became, the saw became uh, instrumental in liturgical music. Priests and missionaries, many of them back then did not have access to musical instruments, but they all had saws because many of them had to construct their own churches. They used the angelic tones of the musical saw to lead their congregations in the singing of hymns. If you fast forward another 100 years, the saw became very popular in vaudeville shows. But at around World War II, the art form almost disappeared for three reasons. First, back then, most, most saw players were men, and all the men went to war, and there was no one to teach the younger generation the art form. Also, for music, you need a new saw, because rust takes away from the sound. And during the war years, there were no new saws manufactured, because all metal was needed for the manufacturing of ammunition. And lastly, vaudeville, the place that provided employment to saw players, ceased to exist. So for all these reasons, the art form almost disappeared, but it is being revived today, I am happy to say. I hope that my presentation here today might encourage you to perhaps reach into your toolbox and try fiddling with a saw yourselves. Or at least that it might inspire you to ponder upon whether Home Depot might be the next guitar center. Thank you.